every 15 seconds, a child dies in India. The highest anywhere in the world. What's even more shocking is that most of these deaths are due to preventable causes, such as diarrhea, pneumonia, and malnutrition. And around half the deaths occur during birth and immediately after. And these can be easily prevented. In India, nearly 5,500 children die every day and almost half of them die within the first month of life. The direct causes of these deaths are low birth weight, newborn infections, diarrhea and pneumonia. The underlying cause of these deaths is malnutrition. What's really frustrating for me as a, a doctor is the fact that most of these deaths can be easily prevented by taking some really simple steps like delivering in a hospital, starting breastfeeding within an hour of birth, taking oral rehydration salts for diarrhea and antibiotics for pneumonia. In the year 2000, the government of India made a promise to our children in the historic Millennium Development Goals to reduce child mortality. But despite initiating good schemes, we are not making progress fast enough. If we fail the huge number of vulnerable children in India, the whole world fails. If we are to reach the MDG4, we have to make much faster, much more rapid progress and we have to reach those children and those mothers that need it most. What we see across the board is whether in urban areas or in rural areas, that it is poorest children that are, that are at the greatest risk of dying. These include children from scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and other minority groups. We know where these children are, we know which districts are the most effective and we have to get the schemes that the government of India has in place to reach those children. Low-cost interventions by trained workers to support mothers and babies before, during and after birth. Preventive and curative treatment for pneumonia, diarrhea and malaria. A dramatic improvement in the supply of food with support for nutrition including breastfeeding complementary feeding and social protection measures. Efforts to get money spent in the poorest and most marginalized areas and improvements in the way different health and nutrition workers work together in villages. This is a critical moment in our history. If we are to be seen as a leading nation, we must address our abysmal record of child mortality. It is time to mobilize ourselves. It is time to make child mortality a prominent public issue, a major debate in the country and a popular cause. Save the Children seeks partnership with government, businesses, individuals, health professionals and civil society groups to do whatever is possible to save children's lives. Now is the time for all sectors to join their forces together in partnership for a common purpose in order to build an unstoppable momentum to create a lasting change for our children. Now is the time to build a movement to save children's lives together. Every one of the two million deserves to live. I encourage as many people as possible to support this effort and back the Save the Children campaign. Everyone.